Now back in the days I live a carefree lifestyle well long as we wasn't caught being bad was cool and we was never at a loss for something to get When he won the championship I still thought this was the same lad that I known him like four or five years before and it was obvious that the more success he got the more uh, headlines he got in the papers and the more he was on television and what have you that he was beginning to change it's the last throw of the dice for him that's how serious it is for Pat it's a shame because the parasites that have latched onto him and pulled him down they won't be around when he's got no money he won't be around when he's he's bitter and he says he won't become bitter but I know he will because I've I've seen other boxers that's gone like him the hardest thing really is like giving all this up now because I think once you grow into a routine of going out all the time and partying you something you get used to and that's the hardest thing is to give it all up but um, I'm gonna have to do it I mean they've tried to prosecute me before on several charges on several offenses and um, I've had nine months suspended sentence. I mean, if I get in trouble within that nine months um, and I ever get sent down, I'll also get that time added on as well. Because if I stay here, uh, I mean, who knows what's going to happen? I mean, obviously, it's not going to be for the best, it's more or less going to be for the worst. Well, he's lost his last two fights. One was a British. Uh, welterweight championship fight and the other one was a World Boxing Federation light middleweight championship fight. He should have won the two but he wasn't in condition. I mean to be honest with you and I will be quite honest I don't want to go. I'm going, to, I'm going over to America to seek myself and to see yeah, if I can actually do it. I want to know myself if I can do it yeah, and then if I can then I'll stay. He doesn't want to go, but he knows in his subconsciousness that if he doesn't go and find himself, he'll never ever have the opportunity to see if he could have won a world title or if he could get back to the top again. The best thing that could happen is that when I go over to America to see him, that I'm finding him in tip-top condition, mentally and physically. Putting all these distractions behind him. The worst thing that can happen, and deep down inside me it tells me that it might very well happen, is that after three weeks or so, four weeks out there, he gets a phone call off one of these tow rags that something's happened over here and they need him back. And he comes back home. Right. Yeah, we'll be over in a month. Well, then, then. I'm leaving everything behind. I'm leaving my daughter behind. I'm just leaving everything behind. Say bye. Bye. Right, right, That's not for the nice shake on that one. <laughs> He's going out there with a bloke called John Davenport, a real disciplinarian and a, a, a coach that coached Lennox Lewis up to about three or four fights ago. If it didn't go well for him, I would advise him to retire. I'm, I'm going to be successful in America. I'm definitely going to be successful. I'm not going to be a bum. I'm, I'm definitely going to do it over there. When his, when his mother died, that's where Pat Downfall came from, with, you know, with his boxing. Because if his mother's not around to prove to her that, you know, this is me, I'm your son, I'm gonna, you know, win some money and buy a house and set you up. That's where the downfall was. When she died, I think that's where Pat started, slip and slide. I think Pat get in, into this group of people for, for them to respect him. He would like to think that his daughter know that he's in that, or he's in that, or he's in that. You know, he like to know that she, she knows all the good things that happens to him. 
my father was a world champion. Not my father was a dead leg or a down and out or a gangster or whatever. People try to give him positive advice, but it's up to him now to do it over there and not come back to England if he's got any sense at all.